I am Gopagumar. Welcome to your math tutor. Here we focus on helping you to solve the problems in engineering mathematics in the easiest possible way from an exam point of view. If you are interested in theory, then check out NP10. Hello friends. In this series, we learn about solving differential equations with constant coefficients. Here we have d square y by dx square minus 4 dy by dx plus 4y is equal to raised to 2x. Here onwards we are going to use d square for d square by dx square and d for d by dx and so on. Let us now rewrite the differential equation d square by dx square as d square minus 4d by dx as minus 4d plus 4 into y is equal to e raised to 2x. Now we need to find the value of y. Y will always be the sum of complementary function plus particular integral. Now let us find the complementary function. For that we have to find the auxiliary equation of d square minus 4d plus 4 into y is equal to e raised to 2x. For finding the auxiliary equation, we only need to substitute a variable instead of d. Here we are using m. Then we get the auxiliary equation as m square minus 4m plus 4 is equal to 0. m square minus 4m plus 4 can be written in the form m minus 2 the whole square is equal to 0. That means m minus 2 into m minus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, we get the roots as m is equal to 2. In other case also m is equal to 2. Therefore, we have the repeating roots. Since both roots are identical, then general formula for complementary function for identical roots is c1 e raised to mx plus c2 x e raised to mx. Have you people noticed an extra x here? It is here because we have two identical roots. Now replace m with 2 then we get the complementary function as c1 e raised to 2x plus c2x e raised to 2x. Now we need to find the particular integral. Then particular integral is equal to 1 by d square minus 4d plus 4 e raised to 2x.
here we have an exponential function e raised to 2x replace all the occurrence of d in denominator with the coefficient of x in the exponential function e raised to 2x here the coefficient of x in the exponential function e raised to 2x is 2 now replace d square with 2 square minus 4d with minus 4 into 2 plus 4 e raised to 2x is equal to 1 by Two square is 4 minus 4 into 2 is 8 and plus 4 e raised to 2x which gives the denominator 0. The denominator becomes 0 which makes indeterminate form. So the method fails. Whenever this method fails we switch to another method then particular integral is equal to 1 by d square minus 4d plus 4 e raised to 2x in which we multiply the numerator with x and denominator is differentiated once then we get x by 2d which is the derivative of d square minus 4 which is the derivative of minus 4d and the derivative of 4 is 0 so we ignore it into e raised to 2x which is equal to x by 2 into now substitute the coefficient of x in the exponential function e raised to 2x which is 2 in the denominator instead of d then we get x by 2 into 2 minus 4 e raised to 2x in particular integral is equal to x by 4 minus 4 e raised to 2x which gives the denominator 0 then the term becomes indeterminate form when this happens while using this method we fall back to this step and what we do here is to just repeat what we did earlier that is simply multiply the numerator with x and differentiate the denominator then x by 2d minus 4 e raised to 2x becomes x square by 2 into derivative of d which is 1 and derivative of minus 4 which is 0 into e raised to 2x. So we get the particular integral as x square by 2 e raised to 2x. We know that y is equal to the sum of complementary function plus particular integral. Then y is equal to c1 e raised to 2x plus c2 x e raised to 2x plus x square by 2 e raised to 2x.